On behalf of the Conservative Party, I, I'm just so sorry that we have offended Ms. Shanahan in our job in terms of holding this government to account in discovering and exposing corruption at the highest level. So if that's offensive to her, well then so be it. That's our job. Wow, this is uh, very interesting. Um, if the Conservatives were not so uh, obsessed by pursuing their own convoluted conspiracy theories, uh, narratives, uh, attacking uh, members of Parliament, uh, especially members on this committee at every turn. Uh, uh, at, uh, you know, uh, we see that the, the, uh, the partisan objective of, of the members who are making these accusations, and uh, it is when, you know, we're all big boys and girls, and, uh, you know, we can all play in that arena, but when it involves independent officers of parliament, and we just heard the commissioner saying that he is disturbed when he hears of fellow independent officers raising uh, the alarm that their work is being interfered with, there could be compromised, then I think we need to take heed. We need to take heed. And indeed, I want to... Um, commissioner, the issue regarding Randy Boissonneau, I appreciate you've only reviewed the actual newspaper story of the report. You didn't actually listen to the committee. You didn't read the transcript. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Are you prepared to do that given some of the concerns that have now been raised? As I mentioned to you, I mean, the, the report... A just, of, just yes or no, sir. Look, I, I'm concerned because he admitted he lied. Right. He, he, has, he also... There are these emails that have emerged that use Randy seven times, etc. He was Something also supposed he to provide us, sir. He was also supposed to provide the committee with additional emails, additional documentation, and actually the identity of the person that he claimed was autocorrected nine times. And he failed to comply with that order of committee. Does that concern you? Yeah, of course. We okay. hope, hope it concerns you too, because right. it, 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 we are talking about parliamentary process here, not, right. not, uh, not my investigation. And it would be naive for all of us to only conclude that what you received from Minister Randy Boissonneau were all the devices that he had access to. He could have accessed a burner phone that he never supplied to you. He could have used another communication app that he never supplied to you. There were, you agree with me, sir, that there are still ways of communication that he did not supply to you. That is possible, is it not? You are also you are assuming here, basically quasi criminal behavior. I'm going from the, on this. I just first of all want the evidence. Once I have the evidence, you believe that you believe there are burner phones out there. I, of course there are burner phones. And do you believe there are other communication apps other than Signal and WhatsApp? I just answered the question to your colleague. I said for any kind of, kind of information, let me have the, the response from Mr. Bozzano, and then I will decide whether, the, whether they, they are credible and sufficient or whether I need any more evidence. And then Thank you. So Hypothetical. Assuming you conclude that Minister Randy Boissano has breached the act, what are the consequences to him? Very briefly. If, uh, first of all, I have, would have to make an investigation. If the investigation comes to that, I make a public report and I send it to the Prime Minister. It's up to the Prime Minister to decide what to do. You're at half, Mr. Brock. Thank you. Mr. Genuish, you have two minutes and 15 seconds. Uh, thank you, Chair. To the Ethics Commissioner, uh, you just confirmed that you are further investigating Randy Boissano in relation to the infamous other Randy affair. A partner at Randy Boissano's company sent many text messages claiming to be in communication with Randy Boissano and receiving direction from Randy about the work of the company. Uh, if he was given that direction, then that would clearly be a violation of the law. By his own admission, the partner uh, lied by claiming that there was another Randy at the company. He also absurdly claimed that in every case Randy was mentioned, this was autocorrect. Uh, so you told us that your previous investigation looked at September 8th. Now you're looking at other, uh, at other dates. And I certainly welcome the further investigation you're doing in this regard. I just want to clarify something from Mr. Brock's testimony. It sounds like in seeking information from Mr. Boissonneau, in seeking text messages across all apps, all possible phones, that you're essentially using the honor, the honor system, that you're expecting 
honorable members to be honorable in handing over all of the information you've requested and not hiding anything. Is that, is that correct? Is that the way you operate? Yeah, well, can, can I just to, to sh <clears throat> correct your terminology? We're not investigating. We are. We were looking first time, is there enough ground, credible evidence to, or reasonable evidence to allow us to commence an investigation. We came to the conclusion now, no, there it wasn't. Now that the further emails have come out, we have asked for further uh, proof that there was there or was there not communication between Randy Boissonneau and Mr. Okay. Anderson? If, I, I if that information, once that comes out, I will have to look at from see where the information and on that basis make a decision. Look, oh. okay. there are reasonable I grounds or not. I can't, though, sir, make just, the, just, can't answer your question now because I haven't got that evidence in front of me. Okay, but I, I, just, I just want to clarify one piece. In your request for this information, you're using the honor system. You're, you're asking Mr. Boisneau for the information and you're assuming uh, that he's going to give you the information and you're only using the information that, that he gives you. It, it's the honor system. Is that correct? I, I wouldn't call it the honor system. I would call it, I'm asking the person directly implicated to give me all the information that he has on that basis. So if I do right. launch an investigation, I can put him under oath, I can put Mr. Anderson under oath, etc., and they would commit a criminal offense if they, if they committed perjury. Thank but we are, but all in, of this in is... In the initial stage... Thank you. That is okay. the time you'll be able to...